best wishes my dear students today we are going to discuss an interesting topic motion and time we'll discuss what is mean by motion and what is mean by time in this lesson what are the different devices used in order to measure the time in ancient days as well as nowadays what are the advanced uh, measurements are they in order to measure the time also we'll discuss later so in this class we'll discuss completely about motion before that we should know what is mean by position rest and motion position means it is nothing but the place of the object where an object is placed this is said to be position of an object see here if we consider an object that object is placed at a point x that x is the position of an object so what is mean by position of an object the place where an object is placed adhaadhu or porul endha edathila irukum andha edam dhaan andha poruloda position okay so uh, position uh, now we can understand what is mean by position next one rest if an object does not change its position with respect to time then that object is said to be at rest or object time poruthu adoda position maathikila appadina position remains the same that is said to be at rest for example the board board node position will not change with respect to time so the board is at rest the book on the table the book on the table remains the same without disturbance nam edhu poi and the book oda position maatra varaikum book will be on the table only so the book is at rest position does not change with respect to time this is said to be rest next one motion means if we uh, check the position of an object if that one changes with respect to time then that is said to be motion so what is mean by motion if an object change its position with respect to time then that object is said to be in motion for example the motion of a two wheeler on the road a road la two wheeler move aagum bodhu neenga check panni paathinga na position of the two wheeler will change continuously with respect to time yenge with respect to time nu solrona time apporthu over seconds ku the position of the object will be different that is said to be in motion okay and what are the main types of motion many times we saw in our sixth standard but in this lesson we are going to discuss certain important types only first one is nothing but rectilinear motion second one circular motion and third one is periodic motion what does mean by rectilinear motion if an object moving in a straight line means then that object is said to be in rectilinear motion rectilinear motion means the motion in a straight line is said to be rectilinear motion example any object traveling in a straight line path can be said so for example a car moving in a straight road is an example for rectilinear motion next one circular motion circular motion means if an object moving in a circular path then that object is said to be in circular motion example arms of the clock uh, or the planets revolving around the sun so if an object moving in a circular path that is said to be circular motion next one is periodic motion this is a very important type periodic motion means the motion that re that repeats every time with regular intervals of time that is said to be periodic motion the motion that repeats itself with regular intervals of time for example rotation of the earth what is the time taken for that 24 hours always that completes one rotation with the same time interval one day or 24 hours so rotation of earth is a periodic motion revolution of earth around the sun is a periodic motion what is the time period here one year is the time period in order to complete one revolution around the sun so this also a periodic motion then arms of the clock 
also a periodic motion. The oscillations of simple pendulum, the time period of oscillation also a periodic motion. I will explain the concept of simple pendulum. What is mean by time period later in the same lesson. Okay. So that is all about the main types of motion. So rectilinear motion, circular motion and the periodic motion are the main three types of motion. Next one is fast or slow. How is it possible to say an object moving fast or slow? Only by comparison we can say an object is moving fast or moving slow. Rend object nam on the slow a muahda, fast a muahda, and every solona, rend object not a motion a compare panita solomurio. It will main concept how is it possible to say easily whether an object is moving fast or slow means when both objects are traveling in the same direction. Suppose in the paka or car travel panada, in the paka or car travel panada na, apa either fast a muahda, and the lala easy a predict panna mudiata. So, rent object in one particular direction la travel pannu modu, edu munnaadi pothu, edu pinnaadi pothu nirudu vetschi, we can say which one is fast, which one is slow. So, fast and slow appingiradu, mainly depending the concept of speed of an object. Okay, what is mean by speed of an object only? Main concept of this lesson. In order to say which one is speed, means we should know what is the total distance covered by that object with respect to time interval. So, see next topic is nothing but speed. Speed of an object means it is nothing but the total distance covered by total time taken. So, eppidi ondhu nama speed on travel pannudha, slow on travel pannudha angirudha, sollum kundiyo apdina. Eppa for example, one car, one two wheeler, at ten time la, from the same initial point start of the or a certain destination or a certain time interval rendu travel panna vekkiron vechko for example or 10 minutes travel panna dhu nedutthuttam na edu vandu long distance travel panna dhu adu fast nu edu small distance travel panna dhu adu slow nu sollala in the edutthil nama time interval constant avichirukko 10 minutes la रेंड वेहिकलो, उन्न कार एन उन्न टू वील, एदु लॉंग डिस्टेंस ट्रावल पन्नदु, फार एक्जाम्पल, कार लॉंग डिस्टेंस ट्रावल पन्नदु, 10 मिनिट्स ल, कार रीचस 2 किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस, बट टू वील रीचस 1 किलोमीटर डिस्टेंस, अपीना, we can say car is fast than that of the two wheeler, अपीना, we can say, similarly, time interval, வந்து நம்ம் destination வந்து constant ஆவச்சிக்கும் for example in order to reach a bus stand from our home நெடுத்துக்கும் போது ஒரு car ஒரு two wheel ரெண்டு எடுத்துக்கலாம் இந்த எடுத்தில் அப்பாத்தின் distance constant எதை வந்து fast எதை slow இருந்து எதை வெச்சு சொல்லும்னா time வெச்சு so அப்பா time வெச்சு நாம் எது ரம்ப short timeல சீக்கிரமா bus stand reach பண்ணுதோ that is said to be fast moving object than that of the other one. So, but definitely speed depends. What means speed is equal to total, total distance covered by total time taken. Total time taken. Okay, so what is the formula for speed? Total distance covered by total time taken. For example, this object travels a distance of 10 meter. So here what I gave? The total distance covered by this object reaches the point Y in 10 seconds. So what is the distance travelled by that object? 10 meter is the distance travelled by that object. What is the time taken by that object to reach the 10 meter? 10 seconds. So, see here 10 meter by 10 second. See here what is this meter by second? Meter per second is the SI unit of speed. Okay. So, you must remember meter is the SI unit of distance and second is the SI unit of time. So, meter per second. Meter per second is the SI unit of speed. So, 10 by 10 means 1 meter per second is the speed of that object. So, when we know that the value of distance 
and the time taken that time it is very simple to say the speed of that object idu ve nammoda two wheeler eduthittu namm or distance travel pandrom illa four wheeler eduthittu travel pannum bodu indha distance vandu edhula irukona kilometer layum indha time taken hour layum irukum appa what is our practical or convenient unit while traveling through a long distance means kilometer per hour is the convenient unit so kilometer per hour idu kore example paakla if a uh, my car travels a distance of 60 kilometers in 1 hour means what is the speed in that case speed of my car is 60 60 kilometer by 1 hour so 60 by 1 is nothing but 60 kilometer per hour this is the speed of my car how is it possible to calculate the instant speed of my vehicle means we have a speedometer in our vehicle no with which we can say the speed of my car nammoda car liyum seri two wheeler liyum seri munadi nammoda speedometer appdinu or device irukum and the speedometer will shows the instantaneous speed what does mean by instantaneous speed na speed at the particular time so nama eppa check pandrom appa nama two wheeler eduthu porana nama two wheeler evlo speed la pogudhu apdinga check pandrathukku we have a speedometer in our two wheeler so munadi ungaloda two wheelers la paathirupinga adoda unit enna edhula irukona kilometer per hour la irukum For example, at the 20 the the car, we can say that 20 km per hour speed. We can say that we can say that we can say that long distance travel, this is 80-100 km per hour. 100 km per hour increase. Then the speedometer is a device to measure the speed of the vehicle at a particular time. Okay. So, uh, this is the method of calculation of speed. So speed is equal to total distance covered by total time taken. If I know the speed of time taken, distance and calculate pannu, abdina, in the time interval cross multiply pannu, you know, appa in the formula enava maari go, abdina, na simple distance, total distance covered, distance abdi matto eridhiren. So distance is equal to speed. division la irukra or quantity equal symbol ku inda pakkam varumbodhu cross multiplication la multiplication ku pogum so speed into time is the formula so when we know that the value of speed and the time for for example a car travels with the speed of 60 km per hour for 2 hours what is the distance covered by that car abhi ketaana speed evlo nu sonna 60 km per hour into time evlo nu sonna evlo nera adu travel pannirukna 2 hour travel pannirukken sonna appa 60 into 2 hour hour gets cancelled so 120 km is the distance covered by the car so eppa namalukku speed um time um theriyum appa distance can be calculated okay similarly we know that the distance covered and the speed how is it possible to time appadina see here in the time in the equal symbol la inge vechittu in the speed equal symbol ku inda pakkam kondu varumbodhu idu enna agum numerator la irukadhu denominator ku varum appa time taken is equal to distance distance by speed appadina formula will get so appa idla moonu quantity irukku speed distance and time taken idla rendu quantity any two quantity if we know we can say the another one quantity okay so that's all about the concept of speed the si unit you should know that is meter per second and the convenient unit is kilometer per hour while traveling through a long distance okay next topic in our next video we'll discuss about uniform and non uniform motion with graphical method okay students if you like this video subscribe our channel and share with your friends if you understand the concept like our videos thank you students